This is the Edexcel ILP2, Pure Math 2 of January 2023. Question one deals with a trapezium rule. Figure one shows a sketch. This is figure one over here. Y equals F of X. And the table below shows the corresponding values of X and Y for this curve. And the values of Y are given to three decimal places. So the X's are here. X in the X plane. And then the Y's are here. All right, so just very quickly, the trapezium rule looks at the area under the curve, just like any calculus to get the area under the curve. So it finds the area under the curve between two points that are given, and the points that are given are one and minus one. And the way that it it works very briefly is it just splits this area under the curve up into sort of uh, equal distance parts, so into little rectangles. So our first x was at minus one, our next x is at minus a half. So it would split it up to there and then zero and so on. Um, and so you're finding these areas and adding them together. So you're finding the areas that you've split up and you add them all together. Okay. Formula for the trapezium rule is for any integral from point A to B. So our point A was minus one and our point B is one. Um, integrate any function Y and all its little bits of dx is equal to a half times height, where the height is the distance between the x's. The height is the distance between the x's. And then you take all your y's. So first your y is 0, plus uh, the last y, which is yn, plus 2 times all the other y's. So y1 plus y2 plus all the ones in the middle, and then the second last y, which is y n minus one. N minus, that's a minus, n minus one. Let me just clean that up a bit. So this is the formula that you use to do the y n minus one, one bracket, two brackets, okay. So just to, to get the height, what I do, uh, there is a way you can do it, but what I do is I say, well, my second x is uh, minus 0 0.5, and my first x is um, minus 1, and I'm finding the difference between the two x's. So I take the, in order to find the, difference between the two x's, I take x2 minus x1, and this gives me the height. Um, minus 5 minus minus 1 equals a half, or plus 1, minus 5 uh, plus 1 equals a half. So that gives me my height, or well, you could put it as 0 0.5, but prefer to keep it in the decimal. So let's sub in all our va values. So the area that we're working with, this is number A. Uh, A is estimate for this integral. So between minus one and one, that's what the one we're doing. A, we want to know the area of our under our curve between negative one and one. So area using the trapezium rule. Area equals a half times the height, which was a half we worked out. 
We sub in all our values, their uh, y values are over here. So the first uh, 2.287 is y0. And then the last y is a uh, two point. So we've used this one, we've used this one, 2.834. And then we do all the y's in the middle. Four, six, seven. So it's 4.470 plus 6.719. Plus seven point two nine one. Close that bracket, close the big bracket. This all goes in the calculator straight away. And we find that the area is equal to 10.52. Uh, just check your question. It usually says how many decimal places. If it doesn't say how many decimal places, ah, there we go. Two decimal places. Okay. So that's the answer for number A. Number B, use your answer from part A, okay, to estimate the following. So um, actually I should just amend here. This gives an estimated area. So we should use the estimation equals. Right. So let's take a look at number B. So it's the estimating the area of under the curve F, which we've done already but uh, it's been moved down by two. So it's saying, well, what is the area under the curve that's been shifted down by two? So our curve we had looked something like this. And if, it, if you shift the whole of F down, then we, we're gonna end up with that looking something like this. So the area will be a bit smaller. So let's take a look. We can rearrange this a little bit to make it a bit easier. So we know that the integral of a to b of f of x minus g of x um, must be equal to the integral, excuse me, from a to b of f of x dx minus the integral from the same a to b of g of x dx. So we can rearrange our uh, work here to get the same answer. So let's take a look what happens when we go, well, we want this to equal our curve, the area of our curve that we already have, um, minus the, the area of um, two integrated. So this two is, has to be integrated still. So we can straight away sub in what we know is that from the previous question is that our area was 10.52. And then uh, this is gonna be minus the integral from minus one, goes at the bottom, 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 to one, top, top. You just get those nice uh, rem to remember. They go in the same place as each other. Okay, yeah. bottom, bottom, top, top. When we integrate um, some uh, any function, then f of x is our function. 
if it was to the power of n, and then we do f of x to the power of n plus 1 divided by our new n plus 1. So this was 2, and the x was 0. So it'll be x 0 plus 1 all divided by 1, which is just going to be x. So we can just say our, our integration is going to be 0 plus 1 is 1, and 2 over 2x two over 1 is just 2x. So we've integrated our 2. And now we're not finding a, just the equation. We need to actually sub in actual values to find area. So we have our area from the first one already completed. So let's sub in our values here. Start with the top one, the one. So two x is going to be one, two to the power of one. My, uh, excuse me, not power, two, two times one, and then two times minus one. A big bracket just to keep this negative in check. And this is two times one is two. Uh, negative times a negative is a positive, so it's two plus two. So it'll be 10 and five, two minus two plus two, which is four. 10 minus four is six. So it's 6.52 is our area. And obviously area is unit squared. That completes number I. Number II is asking for the area between one and three this time of our under our curve, which was F. And this time the shift has not been up down, but our shift is left right. So our shift is moved, our curve has moved left and right. So if we take a look at, at our curve, uh, well, we had this is our, our curve currently. And you can see it, it's coming down. Here's one. And it wants to go to three. Okay, one, two, three, which would be two places to the right. So our new curve would look like this. It would start on one and end on three. That's the space that it's that's been given us. And it's, we've shifted um, when it's, within this x bracket and it's a left right shift and it's counterintuitive so it's the opposite of what you think and this has been moved uh, because it's minus it's been moved right by a factor of two it's been moved if or well, not a factor it's been moved right by two by two units so if we look at this if we plus two to the minus one we get one minus one plus two. And if we plus two to the one, we get three, which is our new parameters. So really speaking, we can see it's been shifted left and right, but it's exact same amount of area. It's the same area as it was before. This is a trick question. Nothing has changed. So we can straight away just grab our answer from the previous uh, question A, that this actually we know now is a trick question. And we know that this area is exact same thing, which is 10.52 units squared. And that concludes question one.